Hi, my name is Kashyap Patel, and I work with Dr. Catherine Putanti at the Loyola University Chicago Bioinformatics Program on a project that is working to develop a method to identify gene mutations in E. coli that confer antibiotic resistance. One of mankind's greatest challenges is fighting a never-ending war against pathogens. These bacteria encode genes for a myriad of methods to cause disease in human hosts. Antibiotics, a relatively new weapon against microbes, have proven successful for decades. These drugs frequently disrupt the bacteria's ability to replicate its own DNA, perform vital cell processes, or weaken or destroy its cell wall. However, bacteria, such as E. coli, do not remain idle. An increasing number of bacterial strains have been witnessed to gain resistance to our antibiotics. The growing antibiotic resistance phenomena is exacerbated by both frequent misuse and recurrent overuse of drugs that leads to strong evolutionary selective pressure. This further produces increasingly resistant strains of bacteria, which require even stronger medication. My project aims to predict a bacterial strain's resistance or susceptibility to a given antibiotic through analyzing the genotypic composition and sequence identity of each phenotypic group. Our data was composed of 66 samples of E. coli collected from the urinary tract of patients. These samples were tested for resistance to ciprofloxacin. Using antibiotic resistance phenotypic groups, we compared the genetic content of organisms across groups to determine what gene sequences were unique to the resistant phenotype. These unique gene sequences were then clustered based on similarity and reciprocally blasted to ensure each resistant group contains a similar copy of the gene. These clusters are candidates for the phenotype observed, as they are not found in any tested susceptible organisms. Thus, the outcome of our work is a method for determining which antibiotics a given strain is resistant to, based purely on genetic content. In Figure 2, for ciprofloxacin antibiotic resistance, you can see that each step of our method reduces the potential gene candidates for our phenotype of interest antibiotic resistance. Using this method, we have identified DNA gyrase A mutations that confer resistance to quinolones, such as ciprofloxacin. This data has been supported by other literature. In addition, in figure 3, you can see images of antibiotic testing that we performed to retrieve phenotypic information for the strains used in our work. The radius and transparency of the surrounding colonies are measured once a sensitive antibiotic test plate is placed on the lawn of bacteria. The clearing that is evident in the susceptible test to the right is not seen in the resistant test to the left. In conclusion, this method was able to successfully identify DNA gyrus A as the leading candidate for resistance to ciprofloxacin in E. coli. In some cases, the method is unable to determine candidate genes if reasonable candidate clusters are not present in every strain of the resistant group, or if there are not enough strains in either phenotypic group. Also, once candidate genes have been identified, this method can be used to predict the phenotype of other strains based on their genetic content before further ver verification with laboratory tests. Thank you for attending my presentation on a method to identify G mutations in E. coli antibiotic resistance.